It's Firelock Games Week and we have three core sets for Oak and Iron to give away. We'll be choosing winners from the comments on three of our communities. One from the comments on YouTube, one from the comments from OnTabletop.com, and from the Cult of Games members' comments, so you guys get an extra chance to win. Drop those comments in and we hope you enjoy the week. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Blood and Plunder. I am joined by Mike from Firelock Games and this is Nate. Uh, Mike, how is Nate affiliated with you guys? Yeah, you could, say, you could pretty much say Nate with Firelock Games. Nate's done a lot of stuff for us. Okay. By the time this is out, everybody will have their hands on the excellent organized play packet that we've got going out. Mm -hmm. And so he designed all the scenarios and characters and everything that's in that. He's also done a lot of work on Oak and Iron and, some, and the campaign system for Blood and Plunder that's in No Peace Beyond the Line. Among other various things. So. Okay. Right, well, uh, so you guys are getting your first battle on camera ever. So, mm -hmm. uh, Nate, who have you brought along today? I've brought along Juan Corso's Corsairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're going to march in, cause some havoc, and just smash through these French lines. All right, uh, if you could just quickly run me down the, the line of guys. <coughs> just point to each unit and tell me who you've got here. Right, I've got a unit of six Corsarios. Mm -hmm. Another unit of six Corsarios. Mm-hmm. A unit of four marineros with Juan Corso, another four marineros, five miliciano indios, mm -hmm. who are my Indian militia, and the finish off another unit of six corsarios. Okay, so what what's the force really good at? Um, the quite an, quite an elite force for the Spanish. This is quite a low model count for the Spanish, mm -hmm. but. Um, these guys are great coming, the Marineros are great coming in up close, mm -hmm. causing some havoc. Uh, Corsarios are just great all-rounders. Um, they're good up close, they like, they like to get stuck in, but they're pretty good at shooting too. Mm -hmm. And these are my harassment unit. Okay, awesome. And Mike, uh, who are you running out today? So I've got the French Caribbean Militia, led by Julian Lambert. Uh, so I've got a unit over here of Boucanier who are going to be my sharpshooters. They're, that's pretty much what they do, is they shoot. Mm -hmm. um, then I've got two units, one in the forest here, one behind this rock. Uh, one of six, one of five of uh, French uh, Melises des Caraibes, which are uh, basically rank and file Caribbean militia men. Mm -hmm. And they're very well armed. They're pretty good at shooting. Uh, they're not so great at fighting, but they've got lots of good weapons for fighting in close combat. They've got plug bayonets, they've got pistols, they've got lots of good stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, you know the French infanterie, which are basically um, the basically French naval troops, essentially. So, um, so they're French regulars. And then right over here in the trees, I've got a unit of flibustiers. I've got eight of them, eight of the uh, regulars as well. Mm -hmm. And the flibustiers are they're my they're my kind of super elite guys. They've got pist brace of pistols. So they're shooting pistols all over the place. They got mm -hmm. their muskets. They can fight good. They can shoot good. They do it all. Okay. All right. And today's scenario. What are we doing? So this is a breakthrough scenario. So. Nate Spanish Corsairs have landed to raid probably somewhere in Hispaniola. And my militia force here is going to attempt to stop them at the beach and send them back to where they came from. While, uh, and he tries to break through and come ashore. He's basically got to come to within my deployment area, which is 12 inches up from this back edge here. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, there's only one thing to do. Let's get uh, stuck in. So you have all of your cards set up, all of your unit cards, all of your activation decks. Yep, just yep. got to... All good to go? Just got to draw. Cut my deck here real quick. Oh, he's doing a Vegas shuffle. I've always wanted to learn to do that. All right, I'm ready. All right, so if you Put pop your cards into the close camera here, I will flip them. So we've got our French one. We've got our Spanish one. So Mike is going with... Uh, eight Spade. of spades, and Nate's going with a ten of hearts. I win. <laughs> now, for those who haven't seen the game in a while on camera, sure. remind me of the order of the suits. Right, so it goes spade, hearts, diamonds, club. Okay. And that's the order in which you activate. More, a higher activation card typically means less yep. actions. Mm -hmm. So, in this case, my I'm going to activate, I'm going to assign this card to the Buccaneers right here. So they will get one action because they're trained. Mm -hmm. And I did realize I did that behind the tree. So <laughs> one action because they're trained. Um, okay. So this will go right here to my this card. 
and I will give them their one action, but on a spade they get a free reload. So, Ooh. let's check the range. I'm going to go ahead and just pop these guys right there. Oh, we're straight yeah. into shooting. Yep, just get right to it. So, uh, it's 18. So, that's a penalty of 4, right? Yep. 4, 8, 12, 6. Yep, 4. I've got 5 guys in there. Their shoot skill is a... <clears throat> Their shoot skill is a five, mm -hmm. so I'm going to need nines, but I'm going to go ahead and give myself a point of fatigue. I'll take an extra action to do a marksman. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> do a marksman action, bring it down to an eight. So I got five shots, needing eights. And there's three. Ooh. I'll take that. I wish I was a little closer. <laughs> I think you may have put a little bit of extra powder down the barrel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, right. three hits. Take that, you filthy Spaniards. <laughs> so, my Corsarios have a shoot save of seven. And I've got cover, so I'm not in the wide open. So, I'm looking for sevens. There yeah, you I go. Got none. <laughs> oh, you do got cover there, because I'm shooting through these trees. So, you do get, um, you uh, do get your shoot save. Still, oh, uh, still yeah, seven, three, four, yeah, five. Right. I thought you said you didn't have cover. I was like, wait a uh, minute, sorry. <laughs> you don't want to use a fortune point on that, Nate? No, because I'm going to need those when I, I flub stuff later on. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's three casualties, Oops. plus one because you got hit. hit it all. And with a resolve of five... You'll take three. Awesome. I take three, and they are... They're, they're going to run back into the ocean. Back to the sea with ye Spaniards. <laughs> they're going to actually go prone. Oh, okay, fine. All right, so now I'm going to use my my uh, fast reload rule to get a free reload uh -huh. and I'm going to use my Caribbean militia faction rule to go ahead and move these guys Ooh. so they're going to take a I have the scouts rule I believe yep so I'm going to get the free move action this way in case you decide to retaliate against that plus that'll but, get them within command range of my commander so I can get rid of that fatigue Okay, so it's going to switch across to Nate now then, yeah? Yep. yep. So, so where are you going to go, Nate? Oh. Decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. With Mike being a bit uh, ridiculously good with uh, shooting, <laughs> um, I'm going to be, be brave in Spanish and run for cover. But I'm going to okay. run forward for cover. There okay. you go. So you're not advancing the long way around. So I'm going to start, start off with moving this unit of Corsarios. Up and just put them on the edge. So two two actions, moving six inches. I've still got two two inches left, but just enough to get these guys out of yeah. sight. Outside, out harm's way. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what level are they at? An experienced trained veteran. Uh, oh, these are these guys are trained. Okay, so I get two actions. Okay, so Is turned on. Yep. Draw. Yep. So we do, well, well, not draw. We don't draw. Pick, pick another card. Yeah, sorry, I'm thinking of another <laughs> game where you actually have to draw every turn to find out how many actions you get. Ludicrous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you only like your own mechanics, I eh, Mike? Of course. Everything else All is right, pointless. All right, so pop them in here. <laughs> so for the French, we get a 12 of hearts and 12 of spades. Oh, look at that. Nate first, I assume? It's me, first. me to go first. Okay. And I will be using that on Juan Corso's unit of Marinaros. Mm-hmm. First thing he's going to do is he's going to use his one action to move up again. Bravely hide behind the rock. It's a good rock. He's checking for gold. Yeah, you got you to gotta make sure all the rocks are, you know, not filled with gold. Yeah. yeah. So he's now going to start using his command points because mm -hmm. he's got three and it'd be a shame to waste them. Yeah. First off, he's going to, the 16, with a 16 inch command range, he's pretty much got everyone. Yeah. B big mm -hmm. voiced man. He's going to shout at them to uh, rally. Okay. Needing fives. I've got two. two. So that takes them down to one fatigue, but mm -hmm. they are still prone. Well, there's one. With his second command point, why not? <clears throat> I'm going to shoot me, eh? I'm going to order. It seems these bullets are dangerous, so I'm going to try that. <laughs> I'm going to shoot at Mike's regulars there. Mm -hmm. He is 22 inches away, so that's going to be plus 5. Yeah. So... You'll need 11. Only 11. 
But muskets, I can hit you because it's 24. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm totally confident here. <laughs> and you have fortune. Yeah. You should totally spend fortune on this. Oh, you got a few 11s. Yep. If I, if I add them up, that's a thing, right? <laughs> no, no, that's third edition. <laughs> right, so nothing ventured, nothing gained. And his third... I think we heard some Spaniards shooting somewhere. <laughs> And with his uh, third command point, gonna get these guys moving up. So are you sure you didn't just hear like a, a wet piff of badly made gunpowder? <laughs> that's probably what it was. Very good chance of that. And uh, that's it for Mr. Right. Corso this round. Mike, we're back to you. Yep. So he moved all kinds of guys closer for me to shoot at. It's yeah. my favorite thing. All right. I think I'm going to move up these guys here. I'm going to take some of these trees out of the way. Mm-hmm. This is why area <clears> terrain is <throat> nice, because you can just lift the stuff out of the way. Yep. All right, so there was in the wood. They, these guys are inexperienced, so they're going to get one action. Uh, and I'm just going to advance them a little bit right here. So they're just going to go three actions. I mean, three inches. <laughs> Not three inches, actions. actions, whatever. It's all the same thing. The English language doesn't make any sense anyway. All right. Well, unless you want to do the entire video in Spanish, I could translate it. We could do that. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, because I don't know what you would say and I don't trust you. Yeah, you could just, you know, translate and make up whatever you want. Then it's what I say whatever you think I said. <laughs> All right, so that's it. So they're done. So over to the next card. Yep. All right. Okay. There we go. So you're going to flip them for us there, Justin. So hearts, Love plays, hearts. diamonds. There it is. You to go, sir. Indeed, I do. So, see, who was it? I believe I've Don't got a shot. Your opponent when he's making a mistake. <laughs> I believe I've got a shot right here with yeah. these guys. Yeah, it's a penalty of four, so only tens, but I'll take it. And I'll do a half shot, <clears throat> and then I'll reload, so I'm not going to put the marker. Mm. So I've got eight guys in there, so I got four shots, and I need tens. I am defending after all, so why not? Mm-hmm. Right. So no hits, but no reloads, no nothing. So. Over to you. Before I forget what you said I should do, um, <laughs> I'm going to activate this unit of Corsari- Corsarios. <coughs> mm-hmm. Corsarios or Corsarios? Corsarios. Corsarios. I'm going to say it exactly like that. Corsarios. So they're going to move in three inches. Perfect. Exactly what I hoped you'd do. Uh, you want him to come closer so you can shoot him? Closer, I can hit him with my sword. <laughs> Wrong universe. No, my pistol. Actually. <laughs> I want to hit him with my pistol, with the bullet in my pistol. Yeah. That's the thing. Once you fired the pistols, they did just turn into clubs. <laughs> <clears throat> Not so, these. They turn into garbage. I just throw them on the floor and pull another one out. <laughs> so, we have 12. Uh, yeah, it looks about yep. 12. Cool. So it's a penalty of three. Yep. So I only need nines now. No, there you go. You got lots of lines last time, but you burn them off. So. I know. <laughs> so watch this. Mid full of eights. Oh, oh you got two. I got yeah. two. Yikes. All right. So my save is a seven. Thank Let's you. see what I can do here. Two sevens. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And here's my resolve check. I need a five. Ooh, failed that. All right. So a point of fatigue on them. No big deal. We'll get rid of that later. Getting upset because I'm shooting up all the forests. <laughs> all right. And there's two reload markers to go on these guys. Mm-hmm. On to the next card. Yep. There you go. I will pass. Oh. oh. I am so outplayed. What you burnt was a heart. Mm-hmm. So, thank you. Should have done that last time. Well, it is a game of diminishing resources as you play through your turn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, these guys, because they're not going to be doing a huge amount anymore, are going to stand up mm-hmm. for one action. Good first choice. And, because uh, you haven't put rules for crawling in. <laughs> and uh, they're going to take a shot as well. And they're going to need tens. Yeah. But they're there now just for the card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, come on, tens. Nope. Nope. Oh, I can add up. <laughs> <laughs> you got a fortune point still. All right, so now it's in. We draw cards again. Yeah. Yep. So I passed. 
Lambda? Oh, well, I put mine, sorry. <laughs> it's a habit. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Uh, so, club plays diamond, diamond goes first. Yes, indeed. So, sorry. I will activate this unit right here. <clears throat> They'll move, uh, I'll just move them right over here to hang out and kind of inside this rock as much as I can. Get what little bit of cover I can muster. Alrighty. I'm going to shoot these cats in there. Let's see. So that's uh, just under 12. Mm -hmm. So I have a penalty of 2. <clears throat> My shoot skill is a 6. I've got 5 models in there. So I'm looking at 8s. And I got nothing. Fortune point? <clears throat> you know, There's I am going to spend shot. a fortune point actually. Oh. It's not bad. I can I can pull off a couple eights there. Let's see what I can do. There you oh, go. So four. four. That was oh a good fortune point. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to help him. <laughs> That's it. My reloads. Right. So I'm looking for sevens. <clears throat> hey, you got two. I got two. I got two. It's it's beating the odds, so I'm gonna take it. You don't want to spend a fortune point? It worked well for me. <laughs> it did. It did, and you've just used up all our luck. <laughs> so that would be three. Result? Three. And I take two. two. Oof. Vendetta's so, only on rally, isn't it? That was a very good fortune point. That was a hmm, that was well spent. <laughs> I went from doing nothing to crushing them. <laughs> I'm immensely happy for you, Mike. And thank you. It's very sporting of you, Nate. This, this tree <laughs> I'm happy for myself if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> the two shots that missed hit that tree. That's why it keeps falling over. <laughs> I've got three actions to spend because all my units are trained. I'm going to bring up my um, Indian militia. Who? Here comes the flurry of arrows. Oh, yes. <laughs> I remember these. They who, hurt. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy ignoring difficult terrain and all that wonderment and come into the woods. Right, so they've spent two actions to move up to there. And they are now going to introduce some arrows into these militia. I'm at 10 inches, so it's a plus two penalty. Yep. So it's eights I need. I am going to spend a fortune point because that's <laughs> appalling. <laughs> you got one. Hey, oh, look at three. Three. Ooh, Ooh. three, okay. So, much better. Bows improved my friend. save by three, so I'm saving on fours. I have elusive, but not all my guys are in cover. So, no, I was about to roll the table. Oh, he got one. So, the first Frenchman drops. First of many, at least <laughs> two, I hope. Yep. <laughs> all right, so two. It's not a whitewash. Fatigue checks, and he has six. Oh, take Tailbuff. two. Not only do they have bullets, they have arrows too. <laughs> now we're panicking. <laughs> we were okay with the bullets, but the arrows, this is too much. <laughs> you can see those. <laughs> okay, so okay. final card, yeah? Yeah. So, heart plays diamond. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate the only unit that he has that's doing anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and um, hmm. So, three into two actions, I'm guessing? <clears throat> yes. So, I'm going to spend one command point on my own unit to advance. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to march up right there. I'm going to spend one on them to rally. <clears throat> right, so, I have inspiring, so I can reroll it. That's good. So, I clear those. <clears throat> All right, so these guys are just going to slide up right there, keeping their formation. And I'm going to take a drilled shot into those milicianos in here. Just over eight. Yeah, so penalty of two. My shoot skill is a six. I got eight models there. <clears throat> but I am spending an extra action 
uh, to bring that down. So I go from, I would need eights typically, but now I'm going down to seven. So is this your command point? Uh, no, this is their, the unit's action. So. Uh -huh. The command point was to move them up. Ah, uh, I see. Because I, I couldn't typically move and do that. So I got three. I'll take three. Three's good enough. Two's good enough? Three's good enough. I, these are expertly drilled. I, so you'll take an extra fatigue test as well. I do have elusive. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm after fives. It would normally be sixes, down to fives. Right. And, you'll, and you'll that'll be my two of them. second fortune point. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. better. Still got one. That's better. I'm going to take the duplicate off. <laughs> Put it in there. And then... So you'll still <coughs> take three because of their rule, yes? That's right. Correct. So resolve of six. And just uh, one. Just one. Wow. They didn't like that guy. Yeah, he they owed, they owed him money. not a fan. So they I didn't know anybody in <laughs> Yeah, They owed him money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So over to you. Right. For the final move. Final move. I'm tempted to take a bit of a gamble on this one. Ooh. Are you hoping to get a good draw on the next turn? Yeah. So <laughs> it's if nothing else, we'll we'll try to show people how combat works. <laughs> um, and they're gonna spend two actions. Ooh, look at that! To be all brave. That's quite brave. Darn right. Those crazy Spaniards. <laughs> So, nothing left, nothing left? Nothing left. All right, let's take a second, we'll tidy up, we'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back for turn two. Round two. And you guys have drawn up. Any events in the hands? I have one. Ooh, gimme, gimme. All right, so, event, you're gonna roll. <laughs> Go ahead, oh, oh, for luck. <laughs> a number five. five. So, uh, we're on the original events table, yeah Mike? Yep. Okay, so original. number five it's is a... weather change. Roll once on the weather table and oh uh, add a w and a wind change. So also roll once yeah. on the wind oh, the table. Wind so I roll. will no wind in this one. Okay, well weather then right. on the weather. No, it's gonna rain. I know it's... Number three. So the wind speed decreases by one. Additionally, the battlefield is covered in light fog. Uh, see yes. page one forty five of the Blood and Plunder rulebook for the rules on fog. So I assume it's just going to make things a little harder to shoot. It's just going to limit the range. Okay. So I can't do, I wouldn't have been able to do that shot earlier. Yeah. So range is limited 20 inch visibility, I believe. Ah, if I remember correctly. Well, you, so. It's all right. He moved closer. Yeah. Thankfully. Thanks, Nate. You fool. You're <laughs> right. Fog's so rolling in, boys. You better get closer. Yeah. I draw back up to six. <laughs> yep. yep. Which isn't another event, which is. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> so let's see if I got a higher spade in there. <laughs> Uh, so Un this is a four of spades <laughs> versus a one of spades. <laughs> yep. You were taking the chance Good there. deal. So. Where are you going to go, Mike? I'm going to go with these guys right here. That's okay. Which they're going to miss. They're going to move. Ah. Now, I only have one action. So I'm going to move, and I'm going to give myself a point of fatigue to fire. Okay. All right, so they're going to take a point of fatigue, and they're going to take two reload markers. Mm -hmm. and we're going to open up on those chumps over there. So he's fallen for it. Mm -hmm. And you have no cover there. So. Oh, no. All right, so it uh, ranges is over eight. Uh, I got six there. Good thing I had a unit unloaded. <laughs> so uh, range is over eight. <clears throat> uh, my shoot's a six, so penalty of two. For every four inches is the penalty. I don't think we actually mentioned that. Yeah. So, uh, so I need eights. Here we go. Hit him. And I got two. Ooh. I'll take that. All right, so he's in the open, so he doesn't get to use his shoot save. So he's just saving on a straight nine. Oh. Nine or ten. Rather. That's painful. It's fine. This is fine. Not six. fine. <laughs> two are dead. That's <laughs> nah, only half of them. Yeah. It's worth a shot. And that would be me on a strike point as well. Ah, there you go. So, um, three resolve. Yep. But Passes them all. They, there you go. They just don't, they just don't care. All right, well, you're going to get to get them to do something before they die. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, I might as well. Um, 
I'm more than four inches away, so it's going to take two actions. Mm -hmm. So they're going to move for their one action, and they're going to take yeah. a point of fatigue mm -hmm. to, to charge. You're going to get stuck now, in. Nothing I can really do. Let me move that reload marker for you. Yeah. Nothing I can really do because my guys are unloaded. Yep. So I'm just going to sit he's there and get hit with a sword. And he's eating or a musket pistol, barrel. A pistol in this case, probably. And uh, so. un unsurprisingly, they're going to use their pistols. Yeah, I figure. So I've got two guys. I've got more fatigue than you, so ruthless doesn't matter. So I'm just looking for fives. I'll be one. But and he can reroll with pistol. pistol. That's still one. It, it got better though. <laughs> it did get better. All right, so my infanterie yeah. save on a seven. Oh. And there's an eight. And fatigue <laughs> check. All good. Oh. I'm all right with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> on to the next card. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now, now that they're in close combat, they can't be shot, yeah? Correct. That's they can correct. be stabbed, though. They can be stabbed. Stabbing is still applicable, so I'm ready to go there. <laughs> hmm. You can always be stabbed, provided you're close enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was it the guy from Wanted? They don't jam and they never run out of bullets. That's right. <laughs> so we get five of hearts, plays one of hearts. All right. So you won't be getting Oof. to stab me again. So Thank let's you. go ahead and dispatch these knaves. So I've got three, six, seven, eight, and nine for the commander. They fight on fives, but I've got a second action, so I'll be hitting on fours. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So they're dead. They're very <laughs> dead. So uh, he's got more hits than models, so that unit's wiped out. Oh yes. Okay. And now we will graciously distribute command points. Alrighty, so let's start getting some guys loaded. So, hmm. uh, actually, I think they're pretty much in good shape overall. So I'm going to give these guys a reload. And I'll give my Boucanier a reload as well. Where are they? They're over they're on right the far there. side, yeah. Yeah. My commander's got a 16 inch range, so I'm definitely good. It's about 12. Yeah, that. that Big command range is really useful in this table. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's it for me. Okay. Cool. Right. Well, unless you need a Spaniards to worry about. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So I'm going to go with Juan Corso's unit, because mm -hmm. why not? First command point he's going to issue is to these guys. Tell them to reload. He's going to... Order these guys to rally. Yep, mm -hmm. we're in. So, two points. Um, is that a command point? Is that a third command? I mean, command, no, uh, but fortune I, point? No, but I'm going to use Vendetta. I ah, remember this there time. There you go. <laughs> you do have Vendetta. Yes. There you go. Against pretty much everyone. Yes. <laughs> so, I do succeed, so I managed to get rid of one. Mm hmm. One more command point. And he's going to use his third command point on his own unit. Surprise, surprise. Because that should just bring me in. Are we saying that's open or? What's that? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. This is grass, so. Yeah. <laughs> Big so, rocks, walk between them. Yep. So I'm just going to move him straight in. He's going to use command point. Then an action to walk, an action to charge. So I will shoot you. You're with unloaded. my pistols. Oh. <laughs> Sneaky French pistols. So uh, at that point, I would be here. So I'll take a spent pistol marker because they are sidearm pistols, so I can only shoot them one time. Mm -hmm. All right. This is where I would be at that point. Yep. Yeah. All right. I got six models, and um, my shoot's a six, but it's going to go up to a seven because of the pistol penalty because we are you're more than four away. I mean, less than four away. So I need sevens, and I got two. I'll take it. Cool. Oh, so you save one. I'll take that. Yeah. All right. So uh, now I got to take. You got to take your resolve test, man. And take one. Uh, I resolved a five. So yeah. yeah, he passed it on five. That's fine by me, because that means you got more fatigue than me. Unfortunately, yeah, this could be bad. I'm ruthless. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish my move. Four inches in. Just gonna put those there, so we're not falling over stuff. All right. Do your worst. 
I think this is the first time I've ever seen a commander get into a fight. <laughs> it, he loves his job. Yeah. The Spanish will do it, yeah. especially Corso. So. so, Corsarios would be on fives, so I'm on fours because I'm ruthless. Right. And pistols, I imagine, yeah. They don't have pistols? Yeah, they are. Corsarios? Yeah, yeah. Oh, those are Corsarios. No, those are not Corsarios. Those are your saves. Oh, of course they are. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I figured. Okay. It's just good because you missed two, so <laughs> go ahead and try those again. There you go. There so we go. Hits. There we go. All That's right. better. No problem. I only save on seven, so here come four sevens. <laughs> no, so I'll take one set, one save, so I'll lose three models there. All right. So that's a four dice fatigue test. <clears throat> Needing sixes. And I'll take two. So off we go. <laughs> I will pursue. Shocking. I know, right? <laughs> um, but it's a shame not to. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, if, if they turn their backs to you and you can follow up and stay in combat without them getting to shoot you again. All right. Feel free to follow up. What? So was that a full round of combat or just pistols on the way in? So he came, he declared his charge. Mm -hmm. I shot him as he came in. Yep. He came in and fought me in combat with pistols at point blank, which gives him his reroll. Mm -hmm. And then he uh, killed a few guys, and the guys that lived didn't like that so much, so they ran away. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. So uh, I believe I went first that round, so we're on to the next card. All right. Ready to go. The French are committed. Why not? Okay, for the French. Diamond. Diamond, ah. but it's a 12, plays oh, 11. Just beat me by one. So, just, just by as one. I, just <laughs> as I planned. <laughs> I want to <a> draw. <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the interesting thing. Sometimes you are playing to go second in this game. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And it varies too, because I had some other cards that had pretty good options, but I don't want to spend them on certain units. So, mm -hmm. you have to think about the units and their training levels and what you could do with that card. And their abilities, that some of them are suit activated. Right. So it adds so. to the tactical decision making. Now, I was hoping to shoot those guys before they did more stuff. But, <laughs> but they're going to do more stuff. So they've advanced for first action, and they are going to shoot again for their second. That looks like it's less than eight. Yep. So we are hitting on sevens. Nope. No, it doesn't right. count. Fill out the thing. No, it's good. It's a seven. It was a seven. It's seven. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. So two hits. 50 50. I'll take it. Yep. So I'm saving on fours. Mm -hmm. Ooh, both Golden. save. All right. So now let's you were do hit. a fatigue test on a six. Nope. Fail. So they're they're scared of the arrows? Fatigue. They are very scared of the arrows. They're, they're obnoxious like mosquitoes. You know, a half meter long shaft of pointy wood flying at your face? <laughs> You're going to duck. These were actually longer than that. Some of them were like five feet. <laughs> what? Yeah. For a uh, five foot arrow. Yeah, no. five foot arrow. Some of them, believe it or That's not. That's the height of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would hold, you see pictures, they're sitting there with their arrows. They're taller than they are. <laughs> it feels wrong. It's pretty interesting, yeah. So, not all of them. Some of them were about, yeah. some of them were about a meter. Are, are you sure the guy drawing it didn't just go, no, that's too small. We need to make that bigger. <laughs> Could be. It's heroic scale. So, I've got two actions with these guys. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot those guys back there. Oh. So is it reload and fire or? It's reload and fire. Okay. So I'm going to go back up to two. And I got four shots. Um, so the range is under 12. Mm -hmm. And uh, shoot skill is a six. So I'm going to need eights. I got one. So I am in the woods, so I need a seven. That's a nine. Got it. Dig dust. But did not get it. Did not get that. Because guns are scary. Back to two. Right where I need you to be. Ready. Decisive. I know exactly what I need to do. <laughs> also, I don't have that many options. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're holding the line pretty damn well. French are good at that. Mm -hmm. 
So French are going with a club. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Spanish are going with a diamond. All right. Right. Thank Over you to you, Spaniard. Mm, thank you. I really want you to go first there. Um, <laughs> I would have been so happy if you'd gone first. Yeah, I didn't want to go first there at all. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined everything. See, Mike, this is why the Spanish can't have nice things. That's right. See, they're just going to cheese it at this point. Put them back as they were. Make sure I'm not overshooting here. So how many actions do they have? Two actions, so okay. I'm just doing a double... He's doing a double walk. A okay. A double move. All right, just, just for everybody at home. Yeah. Yep. And they still have that one reload marker, which is following them around like a lost puppy dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's me. Over to you, sir. Right, right. So I have three actions. Oh, my, my, my. So far are we away here? Still a little bit too far, but I'm feeling pretty good with your two fatigues over there. So these guys are going to advance here. So it's a three inch move because I had to move through up terrain. Oops. Ignore the fact that the forest is getting smaller. <laughs> All right, so that's action number one. These guys are trained on a club, so I have three actions. Um, now I'm going to fire. So just over four inches, so I'm going to do a seven. And I've got eight guys there. All right, let's let them fly. Oh, oh my. Well, the dice are liking me today. Do you have ball and shot? I do. I do oh, have ball good. and shot, yes. I'm, thought, I'm happy for you, man. I thought you would appreciate that. I'm really happy so for you. So ball and shot lets me re-roll all tens. So within 12 inches, which I definitely am. So let's see if I get some more. Yeah, there's two more for you. So that's a total of four, five, six, and seven hits. Ooh. So that's going to be three casualties. Yep. <laughs> now one guy gets to see it. <laughs> Yep, so I can roll a total of four, one for each guy in that unit. Right. And I save one, two, three, leaving four. <laughs> Just enough to kill Just them. Yeah. <laughs> Vaporized. Well, that went better than expected. <laughs> Is that another strike? That was point? a pretty legendary roll. I <laughs> never rolled. I'm so I'm close to shot. a second a second strike point. <laughs> so close. All right. Well, let's see if we can make that happen for you. Thanks. So I've got one action left. Yeah. I was going to reload, but I'm just going to move. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> let's go ahead. Fight me. The flower of French valor is charging. <laughs> All righty. And that's the last card. Mm hmm. Hmm. Really? I've not got much choice in this one. Club plays club, but it's a and 13. And you get to go first. Perfect. I could go third. <laughs> right, so I have. If I go with these guys, I've got two actions because I'm trained right. and would have three, but mm -hmm. because they're on two fatigue, I lose an action. You're going to charge me? You are within six, and it would seem rude not to. Okay, well then let's but shoot you some. Uh, you do have brace pistols, <laughs> yes, though. Yes, I do. Like I said, feeling pretty good about that move. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rally first. See how I do. And I've got Vendetta. Yep. I really hate you guys. So cleared so them out. Cleared that. And I'm going to reload with my second action. A fine choice. All right. I've got my Buccaneers here with um, three actions. So they are going to first rally. So I've got one fatigue, I need a six. I failed, but I'm very inspired, so I can try again. And I still failed. So He's not that inspired. Not that inspiring, apparently. Not as inspiring as he claims. Didn't we so hear that seems... speech last week? <laughs> <laughs> so now with my last two actions, I'm going to bravely charge into here Ooh. and reinforce my dudes. So they're just going to pile in right there. All right. Oof. So these guys are pretty elite in combat. So I need sevens with nothing special. See if I can get a few. There's one. There's one. I'll take it. You could fortune. No, I'm going to take. I might get none, so I'm going to stick with one. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. Hit him over the head with a musket. Bang. 
I think that guy. He's wearing a red shirt. He was asking for it. <laughs> he knew the risks. Is that two strike points, Nate? Uh, it is. And two fatigue. Oh dear. Ooh. Goodbye, Frenchman. Oh dear. Oh, Spaniards. I'm gonna spend my last fortune. <laughs> yeah, good shot. Roll it. Yeah. You don't want them to hey. shoot you later. Take one. <laughs> I'll take one. At least you stay put. Yeah. Because you're not brave enough to chase me. <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm out of cards. So. So I have the two of diamonds left, mm -hmm. which is going to be used on these guys. The reserve force. So two actions on them. Two actions on them. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to be brave. Because I reckon they can generate me a card next turn. But after that, I think they're pretty much done for. <laughs> if so. there is a next turn. I think you got to take a check. I have no strike points. Ooh. I have four casualties. Fortunately, I'm resilient. So I do have a minus one. Yep. Let's take a check, shall we? So he needs a four or better. Ah. So see, this is the end of the turn. So let's see if he gets his four better and keeps fighting. He's, nope. he's building this up. Roll. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a one. Game <laughs> over. Well played, good sir. Good game, good game, sir. That was really interesting to see. <laughs> Seeing how well the, the French line was able to hold, but you were being super aggressive with your guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, the French can form a hell of a gun line. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Yeah. So, But I, I do like the, the balance on this. That you mm -hmm. do have a very clear aggressor and someone who's trying to find all of the defensive positions. Mm -hmm. That's why I like this game. Right, everybody, get those comments down below. Tell us what you thought of that one. We will move on. We will see you again very soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.